Before we head into the video, I'd love to give a shout out to the sponsor of the channel, RL Exchange. Now, RL Exchange is a great way to buy Rocket League items and credits on any platform at the cheapest prices so that you can build your dream setup. Make sure to go and check out their website using the top link in the description and use code TXC to get yourself 3% off your order. In this series, I'm going to be trading up to the exotic black tunica wheels currently worth 23,000 credits. And I'm going to be starting off with 100 credits. As well as making profit for myself, I'm going to be giving away secret tips and tricks so you can make thousands in credits for yourself. Remember to drop a like and subscribe if this video helps you and let's get straight into the episode. Okay, so in the last video, we had the best episode so far in terms of credits, and the inventory is currently valued at almost 10,000 credits, which is absolutely mad. But unfortunately, I can't really get any items sold because a lot of the items or every single item in my inventory has a very low demand and not many people are looking for it. So instead, what I'm going to be doing is just buying items to start off the video so that I can continue to make profit. And in the meantime, I'll be listing up all of my items on RL Garage and RL Trading Post so that I can still possibly get some sold but also like I mentioned make some progress so I do pick up a purple halo for I believe 150 credits below the minimum value again this is quite a hard to sell item eventually I should be able to get the minimum value for that as well what I also do is continue going down the route of buying items with a low demand items that are really hard to sell such as this white uncommon veloce wheel which I originally pick up for 600 credits and somehow I managed to find 1.3k within about 10 minutes which was insane I thought these would take days to sell but I find 1.3k very very quickly and that is 700 credits profit just like that which is insane uh, I, I don't really know what to say about that obviously I'm not going to say no to profit but uh, that amount of profit is crazy especially in about 10 minutes I also do pick up some black OEM for 960 credits I've mentioned in basically every episode so far that both black OEMs and black stones are so good for making profit I can always underpay by about 150 credits and then turn it into the minimum value pretty quickly Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry for pausing the video, but just before we get into the next trade, I'd like to talk to you about the insane giveaways that are going on in my Discord server. Firstly, every 1,000 subscribers of White Octane will be given away, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. As soon as we hit 25k, a White Octane giveaway will start in that very Discord server, and all you have to do is join the server using the link in the description down below. I apologize for interrupting the video, and let's get back to the trades. I also did want to buy a few high demand items such as this Crimson Octane just because I was having a lot of difficulty selling my low demand items and uh, I am quick selling my Crimson Encryption here but it was near impossible to sell as I mentioned in the last episode as well. So I'm taking roughly 200 credits below the minimum value but I'm getting a Crimson Octane which is going to be a lot easier to sell. Quickly I just want to talk you through how I sell my items. So first of all I start off with the easiest items to sell such as the Purple Halo, the Crimson Octane, the Black OEM the items with the highest demand and I'll just focus on trying to get them sold first and then I'll get them out of the way really quickly and then it allows me to focus a little bit easier on my lower demand items such as the Shade Raid, the Shattered and the Voxel. Those are the items that are going to have basically no demand so as you can see I am getting rid of my Black OEM and my Crimson Octane both of which will add up to roughly 2,000 credits and in return I'm getting a White Fennec which at the time was only 1.7k minimum value since then it has gone up quite a bit. It's at 1.9k I believe right now but as I mentioned in uh, in previous episodes this series is pre-recorded by a little bit i managed to get that white fennec sold for the minimum value of 1.7k really really quickly as well but in that trade the guy added like 500 credits so i was getting around 2.2k when my items only added up to 2000 credits so it's a little bit of an item overpay which is really good it saves me a little bit of time as well because i won't have to sell both the crimson octane and the black oem separately i can put them both into the same trade and then just get rid of the white fennec so as i mentioned saves me a little bit of time and also gets me profit so it is a win-win situation if you ever can get an item overpay it's definitely worth doing but anyway i did also pick up another high demand item the sky blue zomba this is very very easy to sell i actually found this trade through rl garage right now i've got a bunch of trades up offering for items and one of those items is the zomba wheels i also offer for dracos fenix octanes i'll put it up on the screen so you can see exactly what i'm on about but the zombas have such a high demand so what i did was i was actually able to find the middle value uh, for these sky blue zombas 
Zombas. 650 credits, 150 credits profit in total from the Zombas, which isn't a lot compared to my other trades, such as maybe the Sky Blue Shade raid, which I can make over a thousand credits profit on if I sell it for the minimum value. But these trades can just get me a little bit of profit over time, really quick and easy trades, and over time it will add up and get me a ton of profit. And these are probably going to be around 70% of the trades that I'm doing when I'm buying Fenix, Zombas, and also Standards, which you can see in this trade again, picking it up for 150 credits below the minimum value. And these items have such a high demand, loads of people are looking for them, therefore they're really easy to sell on. And as I mentioned, that goes uh, back to the really quick and easy profit. Throughout this video as well, I am going to be trying to sell on both the Shattered and the Shade Braid, and of course the Vox, all the really hard to sell items, but they probably will stick around for quite a long time, because as I mentioned countless times now, they're very hard to sell, but um, I am definitely trying to find offers, trust me. I also do manage to pick up a Dissolver and a Sky Blue Zomba. You know that from before, the Sky Blue Zomba is valued at 600 credits minimum value, and I believe the Dissolver is also 600 minimum value, so those both add up to 1.2k, but hopefully like the last Sky Blue Zomba, I will also be able to find the middle value for this one and therefore get roughly 250 credits profit from that overall trade. Also Cobalt Fennec, I'm setting it on for the middle value. Now unfortunately I can't always do this with Painted Fennec because even though they have quite a good demand, they don't quite have the same demand as the Painted Octane so sometimes it just takes ages to sell them on so I have to drop down to their minimum value otherwise it's going to take me hours on end to find an extra 50 credits which a lot of the time is not worth it. Also White Zombas, I'm paying 1850 at the time this was 150 below the minimum value i believe it still is now again that was found through rl garage just proving that rl garage can be really really useful for both buying and uh, selling items i believe this black standard was also sold through rl garage so make sure you are definitely using both those trading apps rl garage and rl trading post it is also a good idea to keep on bumping your trades just so they always appear at the top and more people do see them but um again that white zombie was found through rl garage i'm listing for so many high demand items i'm not really buying low demand items on there but just your generic items like octanes fennec standards Zombas and Dracos. I'll offer for loads of those and then sometimes I can pick them up for anywhere between 100 and 150 credits below their minimum value and just sell them on really, really quickly and make some good profit. I do manage to sell on the Crimson Shattered. It is going to be 100 credits below the minimum value, so a little bit of a quick sell but it took me over a day already to sell, so I'm not looking to spend any more time struggling to sell the item. We'll just get it straight out of our inventory and uh, yeah, we'll take the credits. Also selling on some White Zombas for the minimum value of 2k i might have been able to get a little bit more if i looked for longer but at the moment i'm just trying to clear out the inventory and get basically every item gone i still was struggling a little bit with some of the items such as the voxel and the shade raid but nevertheless i am selling on the dissolver for again the minimum value of 600 credits right now the market is still a little bit dead so it is going to be quite difficult to find the middle value for certain items even if they do have quite high demand such as black markets like the dissolver mainframe jewel and dragons i'll probably still sell all of those for their minimum value at the moment like i mentioned earlier i am finding that middle value for this sky blue zomba once again 650 credits that is going to be another 150 credits profit on this item i'm not sure why it's always the sky blue zomba that i get but maybe people struggle to sell that item or that's the most common zomba in the game i don't really know but uh, for, for some reason i'm just always getting the sky blue zomba but it's making me good profit every single time so obviously i'm not going to complain also selling on the voxel for the minimum value of 150 credits in the future i'm probably going to stay clear of the cheap black markets just because they take a lot of time to sell and at the moment it's not really worth me getting them unless it's like an item overpay or something just because I can make a lot more profit using other methods but we also do pick up a white octane now at the moment the white octane is valued at over 7,000 credits it's gone up by a ton but as I've previously mentioned this series is pre-recorded so I believe it was 6.2k at the time and the next day it also might have dropped down to 6k but either way we underpaid initially by about 400 or 350 credits I believe so still a good amount of profit if we sell it for the minimum value we are getting a decent amount of profit also the shade raid is being sold on oh my days yes this has gone out of the inventory we officially have no hard to sell items left I do sell it 
uh, uh, for a little bit of a quick sell, I'm not going to lie. Roughly 220 credits below the minimum value, but when it when you put it into perspective, I only paid 550, so that is still a ton of profit, and also the White Octane is being sold on for 6,000 credits, a little bit less than uh, I initially wanted, but still 150 credits profit. You can't knock it, especially after it did go down in value. I'm still lucky to have made a little bit of profit on it, but... I should have waited. I should have waited just like a couple days and it would have gone up to 7,000 credits. So that is definitely an L there, but I still did make profit. So that is definitely one good thing about uh, the trade that I've just done. But now I have pure credits in my inventory, over 11,000 credits. We haven't made too much profit in this video, but we have got rid of all of those hard to sell items. So basically just securing the profit from the last episode, I guess, and then just doing a pretty basic trade, picking up a Blackstone again from RL Garage, 150 below the minimum value. I can sell that for the minimum value and make 150 credits profit. But as I mentioned at the end of the episode, we have just over 11,000 credits in inventory value. And in the next episode, trust me, we're going to be making a ton of profit. Now we've got pure credits and a Blackstone. We could go on to buy a ton of more items in and underpay on loads of items and get, as I mentioned, even more profit. But anyway, that is going to wrap it up for the video. Thank you so much for watching to the end. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe and turn on post notifications. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Me.